Blurred, Apple says pre-orders for its latest iPhone models are so strong this weekend it expects to surpass last year's first weekend sales record. Pre-orders began on Saturday for the new iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. Last year, Apple sold more than 10 million units of the previous model in the three days after they went on sale. The final numbers for this year aren't yet available just yet. The latest iPhone model models go on sale at stores and online September 25th, so next Friday. So if you're one of the millions looking to trade up, what do you need to do to sell your old phone? Fox 19 Now tech expert Dave Hatter here to help. And I am very interested in this because I just asked you the question. Can you ever really clear your phone of all the data that's on there? Well, Megan, that's a good question. You know, it depends on the manufacturer. Apple has such tight control over it. It's hard to know for sure. I don't trust it. You know, Apple has instructions on their website that tell you you can do this. Okay, even if you erase it, is the data really physically gone? I'm not entirely sure. So my advice to people, generally speaking, is if you think you have anything really sensitive on your phone, I wouldn't sell it to someone else. At, at best, I would take it back to an Apple store and sell it back to them because I would trust that they would, right. they would take care of it correctly. But generally speaking, and I don't have an Apple phone, I use an Android, I would never sell the phone. I would just destroy it and go buy a new phone. It's too risky. If you decide that you don't have anything on your phone, you want to sell it, get that cash, what is the first thing you need to do? I mean, we're talking about disabling your iPhone. Yeah, basically what you'd want to do to go through the steps to wipe the phone and at least make it very difficult for someone that's not an expert to get it, you pretty much want to go in and you want to turn off the Find Your iPhone feature after you've backed up the phone. That's the thing. If you're going to, if you're going to go get a new phone, if you want to take all of your data and settings and so forth and transfer them to a new phone, and most people will, you're going to want to use iTunes or iCloud to back up the phone. Then you're going to want to turn off the iPhone, find iPhone feature, okay. and you're going to want to go in and wipe the phone, which basically you go to settings, general, reset, erase all settings. It's, so it's not too hard to do. And then depending on how much data you have on the phone, it's going to take a while, but that'll run and in theory wipe the device. So at that point, you should have at least some relative assurance that if you sell the phone to someone else, whether it's a trade-in program or whatever, your data is gone from that phone. But you've got it backed up so you can transfer it to the new device when you get it. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, totally. Um, but if you are in a position where you would like to just turn it in, trade it in, mm -hmm. a lot of the carriers have different programs. They do. I mean, you really got four choices if you want to try to get some value back out of the phone. You can go back to your carrier, and that also is probably a relatively safe option because they're going to know the best about how to secure the phone and make sure it's wiped and give you some guidance and uh, get some money back. You know, each, pro each carrier has its own program. You can go to a trade-in program, something like Gazelle. People have probably seen ads for that on TV for a while. They had a pretty aggressive advertising campaign. So there are companies that will buy any of these old devices. And, you know, depending on its condition, it's how much memory it has, how old it is, that kind of thing. The prices will vary, but I think Gazelle's paying around 320 or so for a 64 gig iPhone 6. So you can get a fairly decent amount of cash out of these. You can also, although again, unless you're really technically mm -hmm. savvy, I would not trust this myself, sell it on eBay or Craigslist to whoever is the highest bidder or, or someone that you know. What about going to the major carriers? Because we're talking right now, you can see mine on your screen, the prices for our iPhones, are they pretty comparable for through all the major carriers? I, you know, there's some variance. I think Sprint right now is offering the most, but obviously if you don't use Sprint, unless you want to switch, it's, it's not going to matter because the amount of money you're going to get, in my mind, so if you get another 20 or 30 bucks, is that really which really worth switching carriers? Eh, I don't know. You know, I use Verizon. I'm pretty happy with Verizon because of the coverage. I wouldn't switch to someone else to get 50 bucks for the device, you know? So, but I think you could trust the carrier for the most part in terms of the safety and security and getting your stuff backed up and, and not having a disaster along the way. All right, so you're the tech expert. What are you doing with your iPhone if well, you trade up? I don't have an iPhone. I have an Android okay. phone. But if I were going to, I would not trade up. I, when I'm done with the phone, I take the memory card out of it and basically trash the phone. You know, I'm going to take a hammer to it, run it through some kind of heavy duty shredder. I'm not going to give the phone up, even though I'm really sensitive about the kind of data I would put on it, whether it's customer related information or something, it's not worth the risk and that little bit of extra money to me. I'm just going to destroy the thing and call take it a day. Take a hammer to it and call it That's a day. That's right. All right. right. Thanks so much, Dave. We appreciate